Welcome to our hula hooping doubles tutorial on the reverse direction 3B weave. A part two to our last video tutorial on the forwards 3B weave. The ground underneath my feet is hot, but the wind and environment is freezing. We're at the top of Volcan Concepcion on Omantepe Island in Nicaragua. Welcome to the Sacred Flow Art Channel. I'm Lyora of Infinite Cummings. And we are bringing you flow arts tutorials from all over the world in 4K. We had packed our bags and left for this hike around 8 o'clock in the morning, thinking after reading online that the hike would only be about two and a half miles. It ended up taking us almost all day. Let's take a look at the crater. This is where we filmed the introduction, right on that edge. Concepcion is the active volcano on Ometepe Island, and our last tutorial was filmed on the other side of the island in Volcan Maderas, which is the inactive volcano, and it has a lake inside of it. Be sure to stay tuned for the end of this video for special behind-the-scenes footage on what it was like getting up and getting down. We will begin our lesson with a warm-up, so put your hula hoops down and get into ready position. Make sure that your feet are about shoulder width apart, even amount of pressure in both feet, knees slightly bent, hips, pelvis tucked under and forward, belly button pulling in and up towards the spine, shoulders back and relaxed down, crown of the head lifting, tongue touching the roof of the mouth, and begin to round your arms in front of your body, leading with your elbows and focusing on the palm facing palm connection in between your hands. We're going to cultivate some chi. Inhaling and expanding the space. Keep focusing on the hands. Exhale, pressing on the space in between those hands. Take a few breaths like this, just focusing on the sensations running between your fingers. Make sure your fingers are relaxed. And then inhale, draw the energy up and through the midline, reaching up to the sky. Exhale, relax the shoulders and allow the arms to swoop down along the sides. We're going to do this again. Inhale, drawing energy up and through the midline. Keep inhaling in through the nose and relax the shoulders. Exhale out through the nose to cultivate more energy, out through the mouth to release it. And again, inhaling in and up. And exhaling out and down. Feeling the outer edges of the torus. This is toroidal breathing. We're going to inhale up to the heart center now. Reverse directions and press the energy down through the midline. Then we turn our palms facing up. Inhale the arms out and up. Bring your gaze up to meet your hands, and exhale, draw energy down through your midline, washing, cooling, releasing all the way down to earth. We'll do this again a few more times. Inhale, keep your shoulders relaxed, just focusing on the energy in between the hands and directing it in and through the body. And again, full breaths in through the nose, and full breaths out through the nose. Exhaling completely, empty your lungs. Feel your energy rooted into the ground, and we'll shake it off. Oh. Grab your hoops. So the prerequisite for this trick is that you're able to do a reverse direction cross point with both hands. Also, that you're able to do a two beat weave. If you're not here yet, that's okay. We'll leave links for these tutorials in the description below. So just stop this video and go check those out, master them, and then come back. We'll be here. To begin the three beat weave, we'll start with just one hula hoop because we're going to be using a different kind of grip. So it's good that you're able to roll it in between your thumb and your four fingers back and forth. 
Watch how I'm hitting the cross point and doing two beats on both sides. Switching my grip to roll around my thumb and then around my four fingers on both sides of my body before crossing it to the other side. You need to be able to do this with both hands. And anytime you feel in this practice of this trick that you're not able to do it, just come back to one hula hoop, practicing that. Picking up two hula hoops now and putting them together, this is what the trick looks like. And you'll begin as if you're going into a two beat weave, but then start visualizing because you know you're going to get another beat in there. Three beats, not two. Slowing it down, starting it off like a two beat. One, two, hit the cross point and come back. Now that's two and three on that side. We hit the cross point, come over. One beat, watch my fingers change. Two beats, three beats and we're crossing over to begin the first beat on the other side. The reverse direction three beat weave is going to be a little bit trickier than the forwards direction, at least from my perspective, because once you get the forwards direction, it feels quite effortless and everything's moving forward. But then the reverse direction is like complete inverse muscle memory. So you just got to keep practicing, going back to just one hula hoop, get that muscle memory, and you'll be able to put the two together in no time. If you need help with this trick, or if you just have a question, leave a comment in the comment section below and I'll get back to you as soon as possible, or reach out to me directly. Jesse and I are driving around the world. He's actually right there on the top of the crater, flying the drone. We're driving around the world on a project that we're calling Unite the World First Hand, where we're sharing and growing holistic practices with many different cultures around the world, as well as learning their languages and sharing our flow arts fire spinning, training as many teams as we can, hosting retreats, and essentially living as united global citizens, blazing what we're calling the all local trail, which you can find on my website, along with many other places around the world that we've stopped by and places that we'd like to go to as well. To learn more and support this global movement, go to patreon.com forward slash unite the world first hand. Hello. Hey everyone. Hello. <laughs> I don't think anyone's been up this trail for quite a while.